Okay, a lot of people ask me how I flatten my paintings. Um, it's really super easy, so I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you. Um, I paint mostly on 640 gram paper, which is um, nice and heavy. It doesn't need to be pre-stretched, but I always do flatten the painting um, after, I, after I finish. So what I'm going to do, I've just got an MDF board here. I'm going to put a clean sheet of watercolor paper on that. Then I'm going to take my painting, this one's actually already pretty flat, it's already been flattened, but just to show you, I'm going to put it painting side down, I oh, know it's still pretty wobbly, there you go, painting side down um, on that clean paper, and then I'm just going to take a little spray bottle, this is just a you know $2 shop job, um, I have a whole lot of these because my children steal them all the time because they're really fun to spray each other with. So this is full, and all I'm going to do is um, start, start at the top and spray spray down the paper. You'll get a sore finger, well, I, I could use a bigger bottle to make this easier, but um, I just get a sore finger having to spray it for quite a while. So I want it um, damp, but I don't want it absolutely saturated. So if I put my finger on, my fingers on that, that's pretty, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit wet, but it probably needs to be a bit wetter than that. So I'm just gonna come and do a bit more, and if you've got any bits that are really um, wobbly, so say say up here where there's quite a quite a buckle, put a fair bit of water on there. Now I don't want this dripping, but I do want it damp enough that that water is going to soak through a little. It won't damage your painting underneath, so don't panic about that. That's probably about wet enough. So I've used, um, I've not used very much. I've used sort of, uh, yeah, tiny bit couple of tablespoons of water, it's not, not very much. Once that's damp, I'm then just going to take another MDF board and put it on the top. Now if if you're worried that your boards are going to leach anything, I know these ones are pretty good so I'm not too fussed, but if you're worried that you're going to leach anything from your board onto the paper, just put another clean piece of paper on the top before you put your board down. So I'm just going to pop that one on the top. But do be careful, this first board it needs to cover the whole sheet. Um, I have been caught before taking a couple of heavy books and putting them on the on the back, but you can end up with a ridge in the middle if you're using two separate um, boards or weights. So always make sure that this first uh, board covers the entire painting. Then from here, you can stack up books, um, other boards, whatever you like. I've got a whole lot of these um, boards lying around, so I would normally put maybe four or five of these boards on the top. And then I get some weights, these are my old kitchen scales, um, and pop that on the top. And again, if I've got an area that was particularly buckly, make sure you put the weights um, on those areas. Now this I would leave for at least 48 hours. Um, any less than that, uh, when you take it apart, it might be fully dry and you might still get a little bit of a wobble. Um, and, that's, and that's it, that's all you need to do.